All right, howdy all. We're now ready to put the Triceratops back together. So all the painting and lacquering is done. And something I will show you. You can see on the inside of the horns, I've put a couple of screws in there because if you've ever bought a Megazord Deluxe, 1993, invariably, the Triceratops horns are missing, and or the mammoth tusks. So, for the, and the saber-toothed tiger, they put little screws into the fangs, so they hold in place. Why they didn't do that for the Triceratops? Well, I know, money, time, resource, etc. But there we go. So this one's a bit more, straight, a bit more straightforward than the you know, saber-toothed tiger. So we're going to start with the leg clips, just like, again, just like the saber-toothed tiger. I'm going to put a little bit of, little bit of Vaseline as before yeah. on the spring. Now, you can start with which, whichever carapace side, just Make sure you get the like keyed. All right, so put Vaseline on the springs. That leg clip goes back in there. And just remember, like the saber tooth tiger, they're keyed. They go in the little little ridge there. And we get the flange screw. Okay. And as always, make sure it works. Pardon me. Right. Now take, depending which way you look at it, on the left side carapace. Now yeah, that's got three distinct pins: one for the tail, one for the rear tread, one for the front front section. Now. Yeah. The inner carapace has got a little slot, rounded slot, just there. And the one for the tail, pops in there. Line those up, make sure the snug fit. And then got one little screw just in there. Oop. I've got that extra strong magnet. Can be a bit of a fight sometimes. There, see that? So one screw there, one screw in there to attach that inner carapace. And one thing I will say, don't be tempted to go using a yeah, electric screwdriver. be in a rush to do these because those will just rip the screws to pieces in these kind of parts. So now we've got the left side carapace initially put together. This one's a little bit easier than the saber tooth tiger. So the tail pops on there. And we've got the neck clicker spring Oops, so make sure you don't drop it like that wonderful <coughs> there we go. Right. that was just the plastic piece not the spring thankfully otherwise that would have gone all over so that spring is back on that X section clicker there. I'm just going to give the plastic clicker section just a little wipe just in case it had any it fell on the floor. And remember the notches face outwards. Right, sorry, got interrupted there. So make sure the 
notches are facing outwards and springs there because now the neck piece again it's like the saber tooth tiger simply slots on the top there and you press that in I can just test that to make sure it's working now we're going to repeat repeat the process for the other side of the carapace a bit of Again, a little bit too much. Don't want, to, don't want to gum up too much Vaseline, otherwise it can just make a bit of a mess. On the other side of the carapace, again, that goes in there. That, that leg spring tab pops on there. And we get that one's flange screw. And now again, give it a push, make sure it's working. That's looking good. <coughs> Take the other half of the carapace. It slots in there, make sure that's a snug fit. Do the same same screws again. One in the front corner there, and one in the top center there. Do those up real quick. Do them up too tight because we might, if anything goes a bit, goes a bit wrong, might have to loosen, might have to take it apart again. Now, optionally, I'm going to put a little dab of Vaseline just around that that part where the neck, the neck piece will rub. A little bit on the axle there, just to give it a make sure there's a little less friction. So, now we simply slot these pieces together. You can see that that axle there slots into the neck piece. So we line those up. Line up the pins. A little squeeze. Again, we might have a little, little residual resistance. A bit of paint. So now, do up these screws. So one there, one there. Now, then we're going to have to use the slightly deeper screwdriver. Use that one. Let's give it a gentle squeeze together when you're doing this, just to make sure. And in. So, one, two, three, there. Inspect, inspect underneath, no gaps, no sticky out bits. Check the tail, yeah, that's looking good. Try the neck. Yay, excellent. And now, the head, again, pretty much the same as the saber tooth tiger. Slots on there. The other half. Pops together on there. And remember, watch out for that horn because it can go pinging off if you're not careful. You get one screw, two screws, and three screws. 
and that will go oops, enthusiastic magnetic screwdriver gotta love it go again screw those in not too tight I don't want to nothing worse than over tightening Stripping the threads and the plastic screw at this point in the game. So, there we have him. Now, the original included chrome finish or chrome effect H cannon. I'm actually going to replace replacing that with a 3D printed one. But for the purposes of this this vid, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pop that back on. Make sure that works. Didn't know my own strength. Took it straight off again. Put that on. That's looking good. Go down. Et voila. The Triceratops is put back together. Now let's just. Yeah, got ahead of myself there. Forms a boot for the Mega Zord. Now, one thing we will do so we've got the Tyrannosaurus pending fixing up. We'll just give it a quick test to make sure it still clicks on, doesn't fall off, and looks pretty ace. Now, I'm gonna have to do the stickers, but we'll do that. That's going to be one of the final steps when everything's, I think everything's ready. And all the rest of the Zords are done. So there we go. I think we're on, that was part five. Triceratops reconstruction. Right. Watch this space. May the power protect you.